Julian Sands' family have sent their heartfelt thanks after heroic efforts to find the 65-year-old entered day 11. The statement was shared by San Bernardino County Sheriff's Office. Sands, who is a keen mountaineer, went missing from Southern California over a week ago. He was first reported missing in Baldy Bowl on January 13. The statement said, Our heartfelt thanks to the compassionate members of the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department who are coordinating the search for our beloved Julian, not least the heroic search teams listed below who are braving difficult conditions on the ground and in the air to bring Julian home. We are deeply touched by the outpouring of love and support. The statement also listed numerous organizations which have been involved in Sands' search. Tony Blackburn addresses once frosty relationship with his replacement No Lead Men's The Sheriff's Department added, as we enter day 11 of the search for Julian Sands on Mount Baldy, we are reminded of the sheer determination and selflessness of all of the people who have aided in this search. We will continue to utilize the resources available to us. Pings from Mr. Sands' phone previously appeared to show the 65-year-old moving further into the mountainous area. However, a spokesperson for the sheriff's department claimed conditions remain dangerous for the ground crew. Searches were therefore conducted by helicopter only, the Guardian has reported. The Sheriff's Department also claimed two hikers were killed in the Mount Baldy area after falling and injuring themselves. In an update released on January 18, the force confirms San Bernardino County Sheriff's search and rescue teams responded to 14 missions on Mount A. Baldy in just four weeks. The statement added, Please know the current conditions on Mount Baldy are adverse and extremely dangerous. Due to the high winds, the snow has turned to ice making hiking extremely dangerous. Sheriff's search and rescue efforts are often hampered by poor weather along with dangerous avalanche conditions. The recent storms that brought the snow and ice conditions are not favorable for hikers, even those that feel they have a high level of experience.